Hi, I'm Steve Carrizzo, the wine philosopher. Today we're, we have one of the top champagnes in the world. This is called Louise, and it's made by Pomeray. This wine is incredible. This is a luxury cuvee. That means that it's the house's top, top wine. It's made from the best vineyards. It's aged the longest in every process of the champagne way of making wine. Every process is the best barrels, stays on the leaves longer. Every part of the process, very costly and expensive to do and make. And this particular wine, Pomeray, is one of the older houses in Champagne. And uh, it has a very good reputation, very good. It was started by a woman. Actually, a man bought it, and he died right away. And his wife, Louise Pomeray, took over the business. And in those days, it was kind of odd, women in business like this, especially in the wine business. It was very much male-dominated, you could imagine, in Europe at that time. So uh, she took it and not only uh, elevated the winery to a new level, came up with a lot of inventive ideas. One thing she did was she was the first one to have non-vintage brewed champagne. That, she was the one that, it, that decided instead of having it from a particular vintage, let's blend vintages together so we can have a consistent style and that's the brand of our house. That shows our house style. And that, of course, everybody in Champagne, without exception, does that now. So uh, Champagne is a very cold growing region, very cold. So every vintage is not good. Some vintages you hardly can yield any grapes. And uh, good, very good vintage, uh, very bad vintages rather, wines like this, a luxury cuvee, like Louise here, is uh, not even made. Okay? The grapes they use in Champagne is Chardonnay, and uh, Pinot Noir, and a third grape called Pinot Meilleur. That grape is indigenous Pinot Meilleur to the Champagne region. And that's kind of like, uh, kind of like the, the stepchild in Champagne, in a sense. Uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay are the noble grapes, and a wine like this, and most of the, more of the better wines in Champagne are made with just Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, or just one of those grapes. This one has Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Uh, many of the other champagnes have Pinot Meilleur in it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of like the workhorse of the region. Because it's such a cold region, it's a red grape, white red. What it does is it, it always gives consistent wine every year, so you have some juice to make wine with. Especially for smaller champagne houses that <clears throat> they can't skip a vintage. They don't have deep pockets. They have to feed their family. These are real people with real family, so, you know, it is their livelihood and it's very important. So anyway, Pinot Meilleur is very useful in the area, and I think it makes some nice wine, actually. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's open our luxury cuvee. <coughs> this one is Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, like I said, and uh, some of the Chardonnay in this wine comes from Grand Cru vintages, uh, vineyards, I'm sorry, from Grand Cru vineyards. What it does is, uh, what that means is in Champagne, is that each vineyard area is rated. And there's regular vineyards, there's Premier Cru, which is very good, a step up. There's Grand Cru, which is the best of the best. Those are the super vineyards. And this is all Grand Cru. And this wine also, the Chardonnay, a large part of it comes from a, a vineyard, one of my favorites in the world, called Cremant. And somebody I know in France that's in the wine business and really knows his wines, especially Chardonnay, because he, he's from Burgundy. Uh, he said some of the best uh, Chardonnay vineyards in the world, in his opinion, which I do respect, is Montrachet, Le Corton, and Cremant in Champagne. The other ones are in Burgundy. So that's pretty exalted. And a few wines I tasted from here, Mums makes one called Mums de Cremant. And that is 100% Chardonnay from that particular vineyard. So I have a soft spot in my heart for that vineyard because it's like drinking a white, white burgundy with some bubbles to it. So let's open this baby up. Now, every champagne, champagne's like this, by the way. Well, you see why I'm so excited. I've got a couple other things to tell you while I'm opening it, actually. Uh, why I'm so excited is one, Luxury Cuvée is the top wine. Of, a, of any house. That's the best they can do. 
Every house makes different levels of wine, starting with their extra dry, a brut, which is a blend of vintages, a uh, vintage brut, a blanc, uh, a blanc de blanc, sometimes meaning made from all Chardonnay grape, blanc white from white, uh, a luxury cuvee, which is their top one, and vintage cuvees, and all on the scale. So this, this is their top, top wine. The other thing I'm excited about, it's a 1989 Champagne. Today is February 1st, 2007. So this wine is 18 years old, this wine. This wine is old enough to drink in some states. <laughs> okay.